so let's come over here and check out the classroom chair area of my collection. So let's start with the 1956, or should I say, I think it's 48 Peabody C and Company chair. Pretty much the same as this one here. Then we'd have to go to the Brunswick, the fiberglass one, mid-century modern ones, from about the 50s. And then we go to... That was before the, the VBAC Varco chair was before the, what, 3000 series? I think it's 9000 series, I can't remember. Everybody has seen that chair. I got a black one. They mainly come in blue. Oh, uh, we also got banquet chairs and office chairs. Everybody's seen those. I tell you what, if you've been to a banquet or a party or a wedding, you've seen that chair. Got a few outdoor sling chairs. Got this IKEA chair. Yeah, we're gonna have track here, but yeah, uh, you'll see all the chairs in a second. And basically, we have this modern chair. It's like all one piece of plastic, very heavy duty. This chair is made of a row of seating, and it's kind of like not really a good one. It's kind of cheap. You hear how cheap that is? Varco IQ chair. If you watch the Big Bang Theory, the, the office break room scene or college break room scene, that you can see those there. And then we got the Varco Zuma Rocker, which is not the chair we had in school. I'm not gonna lie about that. It is comfortable as heck. And I got the cantilever like chair, which is like, wasn't a rock or anything cool like this one does. And I got one of these Lakeshore chairs. Which to this day, I do not know why this chair is so heavy duty. I tell you what, you can put this, these metal legs in a race car as a roll bar. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, I found these kids chairs, Aldi's, you can see how they are. It doesn't really have a manufacturer or anything on it, it's just like, Kind of a blow molded frame with metal legs. You can pretty much see how that is. Uh, I tell you, we'll cover all these chairs more in detail later. And there's the school chairs I have in my collection and office chairs.